Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51 Round of 16 match between Rata Campera and his Kemri and Vava and his Chaos. In the booth with me is Squirrel Dude. Hello. Hello. Card watch is Kemri. Mm. It's a very interesting, exciting game. Um, <laughs> I'm sure. Wow, so the Kemri have got a bribe and a babe. They didn't take a wizard. Which is interesting because I would always take a wizard, but um, he hasn't. Isn't um, the matchup worth defensible not to take the wizard? I think. Yes, I mean you or know I've seen I've seen right. other people do it as well, and like who's to say if it's right or wrong? It's just not what mm. I would do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just like the wizard, right? Because because you could use it, you can use it like you know in in a big just a fighty game. Even even though you mm -hmm. obviously came in, you're unlikely to you know use the wizard yeah. and then steal the ball. You can use it in a big scrum to then like fireball and then like make a bunch of blocks and just have his whole team on the ground. And then he's really struggling to score and everything. So like I still like it, but obviously. He, he also is gonna... a journeyman thrower. A mercenary thrower. Nice no, thing that God. Yeah, he also has a mercenary thrower. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then I would I would say you should take the wizard. Cause I'm Pretty sure a throw rod and a babe is a wizard, so you, you should have a wizard here. Yeah, yeah, that's an interesting decision, isn't it? That brings them up to 14 players. Like, it's fair enough getting another player on the pitch against Chaos, uh, though the Chaos aren't very scary at all. They've got two claw mighties, uh, but they don't have piling on, um, mm. which isn't make, doesn't make them not scary at all, but it makes them a lot less scary, doesn't it? Like, you know. It, it, okay, touch light on guard. A touch. Eh, yeah, all the warriors have it, I guess. Yeah. It is a movement six mercenary, so that is decent. And it's an extra pair of sure hands. So. Mm. I think this team might have been the one with the strength four edge four thrower. I think one of them had a strength four edge four thrower. And I think the other one just had, like, I think one had a movement edge up thrower. But whatever it is, it's it's got miss next game, I think. Um. And that's why he's got this. And, uh... What are the generated names that the Ra has? <laughs> Hello, let me see it. Hello. Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe he's... No, yeah, no, he has to, Yeah, of course, because it's a mercenary, so he can't have been able to himself. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, Seth T, I am Kek Hem Jadon. All right? I tried. <laughs> say that. Say that fast. Ever. <laughs> but yeah, it's mostly... It's mostly a good... It's mostly a good Kenry team, I would say, and, like, a not-so-good-chaos team. But, you know... It's, it's, it's not, not a great terrible. Camry team. No, it's, no, it's, it's not, not a great. It's, it's not, not, not a great Camry team, and it's not a terrible. It's not a terrible chaos team. It's just that the chaos yeah. team is missing the pom, isn't it? That's the thing. It's, yes. You know, if you, if you add if you add if you add piling on to this warrior, and add piling on to this beastman, then it's like way better for forty TV. That's the thing. Yeah. As I say, it's missing its carrier, but it does have a good carrier just on the bench mm. where it should be. Yeah, I think that's completely reasonable. Save him from the wizard. <laughs> I don't know if I love the block mighty blow goat that's hitting everything right now, but mm. as opposed to wow. the other players. But I guess it's hard for him to target the Tomb Guardians right now. Yeah, he just yeah, you can't. I mean, well, he could have hit the Tomb Guardians, couldn't he? He's got guard. He could have just hit the Tomb. I would have just hit the Tomb because if you remove it, it's GG, isn't it? Almost mm -hmm. like not not entirely, but it's so strong if you remove the Tombies. But I would have, uh, I would have Same with mummies and undead. Same general principles that these are big guys that are fragile, but the team depends on. Yeah. And they're just so hard to deal with otherwise. <laughs> yep. Oh wow, big foul here. On the hmm. Tackle Frenzy Pummer, I like the foul. Good player. Chaos like do of a spare. It's not even him costing him position because, like, he's he's mm -hmm. it's making the center super strong, and the Kemri yeah. aren't in the center, so like it's it's shepherding them down a side. It's actually like strong positionally and might make a foul. That was a great foul to do. Dirty player, I'd absolutely love it. Getting that player out's quite nice. 
every good Kimberly player is a pretty big loss. They just aren't as... They just... They don't have the ability to have repeat players and have more of them do the same thing the way Chaos does. Where Beastman can kind of fill in, without skills, can kind of fill in a bit more than a skeleton can for a Blitzrock. Yeah, Beastmen are incredible players, really. Really incredible players. And we're going to see a foul on this guy. I mean, he's got a bribe. Two assist foul, I mean, he might do. Why not? Mm. Only, only one is just foul now. Mm. Yeah, he had to put that guy in. There was the rack up there that could have hit him. Oh well. Gets a stun. Camry probably rightly feel it's a bit of a win condition to get just a couple of removals and make it a lot easier and safer for their players. So. Yeah. Now this I can't condom. <laughs> Not hitting. Yeah. Feels like uh, the exact purpose Claw Mighty is there for. Mm. Oh, hey. It's worked out. He's got an armor break. <laughs> Two armor breaks by not hitting with Claw Mighty. Do we know if Kemri or Chaos chose to kick or receive? No idea. I never quite know what to do here. I feel like Kemri are better on defense than they are on offense. Especially when both teams have 11 players. Yeah. But I also don't want to give Chaos the turn. Yeah, it's brutal, isn't it? It's a brutal one, this. like. I'd normally choose defense as Kemri, but uh, yeah, versus Chaos like this, it's probably better to receive, isn't it? And then hope you can gang foul a few out on your drive. And... Make it manageable. It's hard. It's a hard. Hard to know how you even win this as Kemri, honestly. Like, Get lucky, I guess. Yeah. Which we're trying to do here, with these spells. Yeah. So I guess I guess receiving gives you the highest chance to get lucky. Mm-hmm. I suppose the downside, of course, is they kind of maybe it forces you more into a route where you're trying to get lucky. You can't just play normally, which isn't always great either. But you know, if you kick, you've got to try and get lucky because you're going to get hit by four mighty blow and claw, and you know, then continuously hit by claw mighty. So it's really rough. Here we go, claw mighty hit on thingy instant greed, not an instant greed reroll. Shocking! Shocking! I thought for sure the greed rerolled it. Also a bit surprised he didn't take he you stand from there and didn't let himself go backwards and off the players. But yeah, it is interesting. I mean the second time fair enough, it, but the first time yeah. I, would have, I would have. Yeah, here we go. So another player comes in and gets the power finally. And stunned. So can we now are basically an undead team with two shit mummies. <laughs> And yep. no pulls and no lights. Yep, this turns horrible for them. Is he dodging that Tomb Guardian? If not, probably should have already stood him up. He's for agility 3 and can dodge to hit that ball carrier, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yep, Just saying is... that for no reason, but <laughs> this is very dodgy. You can also just come oh. through the front and not dodge at all to hit him. <laughs> oh, but he's done the wrong hit. Oh dear. Not what I would have done. There's a lot of breaks this game, by the way. But mm. very few removals, just lots of stuns. My brain is a potato. Oh that was that was really terrible, that, that warrior block. Really terrible. Like, really, really terrible. But he's got, he goes for the 3 plus dodge instead of just instant hit. <laughs> and Real. fails. 
probably. How many Wrestle Beastmen do you like to have on your team, Jim? Zero, one, or two? Uh, three. Three. <laughs> For the line? Four. Five. Honestly, I, I would go pretty much a lot of Wrestle nowadays. Because mm. it's like a soft counter to Elves, isn't it, in a way? like it, Yeah. Very soft. It also helps out, I guess it also helps out in the bashing matchups, too. It's just having some Wrestle to make hitting your guys much more annoying than it normally is. Yeah. Yeah. Dwarves, one of your worst matchups for a long time. Oof. Also, it kind of lets you put off taking tackle a little bit. Yes, that's the biggest like, thing. Well, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the biggest thing. God knows I don't want tackle. But then I want four tackle on the team eventually, anyway. So. Yeah. If I was making the perfect, reasonable chaos team, um, I don't know what I'd have. Two super killers, four warriors. Um, Ball I carrier, care. that's seventh, and there's four other people, and those four utility players could be like Lodge Guard, I guess, in a dream world, and more realistically, Wrestle Guard, I guess. So, yeah. Dice have been all place with that. Mm. Been very, dice have been very weird. Lots of bad block dice and a lot of stuns, but very, again, very few removals. Yep. Of course, we haven't maximized uh, Claw Mighty Hits, but getting uh, getting another one now. Another stun. Yeah, which is not nothing, what? you know. A lot of people complain no. about stuns, don't they, when they've got a killer, but uh, that's, you know, Claw Mighty, you can't expect much more than that. It's pretty no. decent. I, I say this a lot, but if you ever want to see how bad Claw is, just use a Yeti. <laughs> it's such a shit skill. <laughs> and Claw Mighty alone is just not enough. There have been quite a few hits where the Chaos would have loved to be able to pile on. Not GFIing. Abby does have strength 4 on this. Do you dodge with the. Uh... Oh, there's a no Do you dodge with the skeleton at the end? Yes. To get in front? Yes, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this one. Because mm. it, it doesn't it doesn't really free him up. Like, I, I know it yeah. does, but he, he could have just... Yeah, he's going to free up this warrior anyway, so... You know, like, yes, he can block to free up this goat, but he could block to free the warrior anyway, so... I mean, he can also dodge with the warrior, apparently. Yeah. Well, yeah, I would never have expected that. Take the one dicing stand for him, huh? Okay, mm. that is. Vava. I, I I don't know how good Vava is at football, but it sure seems like he's living up to his uh, team name in this run. <laughs> no offense. We are going to be able to score here. I don't know if he's role playing. I don't know if he's role playing along with his team name, but he. <laughs> he's, he's, you know, he's in the round of 16, may well be in the quarterfinals, so, you know. Who's to say if it's right or wrong, good or bad, all that bollocks. He's, uh, he's picked the right team. Mm. The right team did not have a brain. Yep. Sorry all the Chaos coaches who tell themselves when they go to bed that it is skill, it is skill. <laughs> Claw Pump is hard, it's really hard, I promise. <laughs> Repeat that to yourself a hundred times before you go to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, well, well done. Calcium before you put your best to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, Rata Campera, getting the touchdown there. That was very tricky. Managed to uh, do a good job to bang it in. But you've got to say he was let off the hook by Varvar as well. Varvar, yeah, Varvar should have. Wow. wow! Oh, look at these recoveries. Outrageous. Good thing he didn't have a babe. <laughs> yep. That was a very strange half. It's a very strange half of Blood Bowl. Yep. Very messy. Messy, messy, rude boy, messy. That's a very niche <laughs> um, reference there for you, for British people. <laughs> yeah, imagine soccer or something. 
Yeah, there was. Uh, I can't even remember the name of the show. It was like Soccer Saturday or so, so- Soccer Sunday or whatever. Some fucking goober presenter. I didn't even like him. And he used to go messy, messy, rude boy, messy, like in the two episodes. <laughs> so it's really, 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 really niche reference. There you go. Clawpum is pretty high skill. Yeah, you've got a delay taking block. You've got to go mighty blow, claw piling, and then block to make sure you get a clawpum. The a bit more skill are natural one turners where you click the click a player and then click the end zone. It's really hard, man. It's more than just clicking the end zone. You could like click the ball and stuff too. Not saying that that is a high skill, but they aren't as simple as click right click end zone. <laughs> yeah, you gotta click the ball like at least. Once or twice. <laughs> classic. A classic quote there. I can't imagine people actually thought rats were dead when they removed flop bomb or they removed natural one turners. Mm. I can't believe that. No, oh, I can't. People are fucking stupid. Oh, that's true. I forgot. <laughs> people on Reddit can believe anything. Yeah. Yeah, really. Really is mind boggling to me. <laughs> How dumb the average human is. <laughs> no offense to everybody who's average, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Most people don't know they're average. Or for that matter. Mm. The only thing I know I'm below average in is driving. I'm not a good driver, which, you know, that's about it. I, I couldn't tell you where I rate anywhere else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, grab Fumble Ruski, yeah. If you can give Fumble Ruski to a gutter and then he can move the ball 42 spaces in one turn. But you don't need to. <laughs> 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 You can hand off and quick pass, and then it goes and move like just a hand off. A hand off moves it like twenty two squares. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like fuck me. <laughs> Isn't that enough? <laughs> well, Jim, that's only. It's not quite end zone to end zone, which, as we all know, is how all blood bowl is done. You have to move the ball from one end zone all the way to the other in one turn. That's mm. the most important thing. Mm. Unbelievable. Kick off event when the fish triples inside. Yeah, that might make Fumble Ruski usable for rats. <laughs> if there's a kick off event that quadruples the size of the pitch. <laughs> Can you imagine what would happen if that. <laughs> it, it would actually be a DACA. It would just be the elves just running all the way to one corner. <laughs> yeah, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? They, they just couldn't defend against you, they just couldn't cover the pitch, so you just. You just get out of boots range, and then they've got to be like, oh, fuck, what do we do? <laughs> if, they, if they go after you at all, you go past them. And if they don't go after you at all, you just go past them anyway. <laughs> so, oh, wow, here's a blitz. A blots. It's going to make the uh, second half interesting. Mm -hmm. The brainless chaos. Stand firm going immediately to be really annoying. Mm. Middle's going to be a little weak. Yeah, the the, the scent is too too hard to reinforce, almost, isn't it? Like, cause, okay, you can knock down this warrior or this warrior, yeah. but then okay, the rest of them the blitz be, I guess the blitz is going to be with the Tomb Guardian onto that corner. Claw. Aha. Uh -huh. The claw! I can't reroll because of overtime. Sad. Maybe Camry should. Oh, well, I guess Camry are expecting overtime. They want to be advantage, but I feel like sometimes Camry maybe should just not throw against Clawbum and just try and get the game over because you want to play defense and win. But, yeah. but also, I mean, it's, it's a blitz. It's a free turn. It's not the critical block. No, it'd be very greedy to reroll that. Yeah. Oh, there's a cast. Dwarves being incapable of scoring because the pitch got three times longer would be pretty amazing, actually. <laughs> it would be, yeah. Uh, would be hilarious. Claw my E. 
Doesn't get him down. It's another. Mighty. Kazas him. <laughs> Dead. Nice Tomb Guardian, mate. Where'd you get him? And he's, yep, regen fails. He is fucked. Well, that was a great blitz, wasn't it? Got his Tomb Guardian hit by Mighty Blow on Kaz. One D on his, uh... There's a one D there, that's... Interesting. I mean, you might as well do it. If you don't If you don't one D him, he's gonna two D you, isn't he? That's the problem. I like doing the... Also, I'm not... I guess you do the dodges, but... I don't, I'm not sure those squares they move to. Hmm. Tough for Rata Campera now. Going to be hard to not concede. Though it is going to probably going to get messy because Farveer has shown that he's going to let it get messy. Mm. But also, he might just be able to tee off with the Claw Mighty as well, isn't he? Yeah. Like now, like now, you want Tomb Guardian down, it gets that much harder to protect the other Tomb Guardians. Well, it's a good thing that Camry have all these fair players that can't come onto the field until after he's tied the game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, he's abandoning the defense to protect the teamies. Alright, gonna get his player fouled. Good protection. Mm. I don't know why that GFI needed to happen. No. When you get... He had a free player who could stand up and... I hate this right. one. I hate this. Because you can call Mighty this one, which is infinitely better. And then, like, put a bit of pressure on his other players to make him, like, you know, scared. Yeah. Or think he can fight back one of the two. I guess. He just wants to take the score, and this by going through that, you just get yourself the score every time now. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, to, uh, to be fair. And he can still threaten the Toomey for next turn. No, he's taking him away. Well, someone offers you to not play Blood Bowl, who are you to turn him down? <laughs> well, yep, here we go, here we go. This is a nice foul, isn't it? And <laughs> he doesn't need this many assists, does he? What arm is it? Uh, Eight. Does it? He doesn't need... Seven, yeah, he does. No, he assist. does. Yeah, yeah, he does need that many assists. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. A perfectly cromulent amount of assists. And it's a gym foul. <laughs> hey, he broke armor at least. <laughs> Only because he couldn't not. <laughs> wow. Diced again. And now the Kimri stand up their players. I don't think he's gonna stop the score. But it was a nice uh, it was a nice trap foul. Mr. Foulbait doing his job. Yeah, it's a good foul when your best player is off of a rookie beastman. <laughs> I mean that's what Dai would call it, wouldn't it? Foul bait, because <laughs> it worked. Because <laughs> it worked, it was foul bait. <laughs> it does seem like an absolutely fucking horrendous thing to have. There you go. game at this point the chaos i don't i really don't know what camry are going to do here to limit this from being a score if anything so no they can't I mean, they can't stop and, the score and chaos can't really foul now because they don't all their players on the field left are good yes yeah i guess we can do this we can oh no run i thought we were gonna hit him and like chain him into a foul or something and try and get numbers back but i guess we're just gonna hit and back off and get our Tomb Guardian hit by Claw Mighty. Yeah, it doesn't seem a great move, does it? No, I would have liked to have tried to pick on that Tackle Beastman mm. just because he's a player of block and has skills. Mm. Maybe he's pom the, uh... Maybe he's pom this Beastman or pom the, uh, Warrior, but... 
Certainly don't expose your best Tomb Guardian to, to Claw Mighty. <laughs> to chained Claw Mighty hits, is it? It's gotta be. Yeah. One, two, one, Maybe he has two, it down three, at the top so they can get the ball safe and he can get the score in. It yeah. looks like he what he's going to do, but. Yeah, it is ch chained Claw Mighty hits and he's not even taking them. Yo, know, he could get one at the top. Oh my god. Uh, why was it in the dodge? Oh my what? god. What? 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 <laughs> I guess he misclicked by either a cyanide pathing for the blitz or he like he went he wanted to hit from here so he just went there and then clicked it out. Yeah. But even if you go there it would still do this dodge, wouldn't it? That was bizarre. Nope. Fava really this living up to his name. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe he's role playing his team name, honestly. Like, I thought Varvar was better than this. I'm sure, like, you know, he's been in Chalice and that. But, you know, somehow he's in the, he's somehow he's in the round of 16. <laughs> okay, he'll come back, obviously, based on the record of this game. No. That's an apothecary. Yeah. Spoiler, he's going to get fouled next turn if you don't do anything. Yes, that's the thing, isn't it? Really have to get these players away from him. He's just getting fouled next turn. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's drunk. Maybe he's just like maybe that's been his thing. He's just played this team drunk every time. And so called it. Where is my brains? Yeah, maybe that's it. It's pretty it's funny that just the line of players. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny. That's a pretty funny image. Has had bad dice. I just don't think he. You know, I think it's fair to say he hasn't had very good dice either. Yeah. Uh, that feels like too few blocks. I feel like you might want to take a minus two D there or something, or there maybe a one D you to take. I don't know. Hmm. Um, maybe it's just not. Maybe the strength four is actually good. Who knows? Who knows? Um. Yeah. Again, vision. I generally sack nickels, but it depends. Depends on the player and everything, right? But I generally get rid of them. Oh, regen hasn't it? That wasn't the animation. I said Camry should ever. Tomb Guardian fails regen dead with an MMG. Rando skeleton makes it every time. God, regen is a regen is such an office. Not a good mechanic. <laughs> wasn't it at one point? It was like a 2 plus for mummies and like a 4 plus for 5 plus for zombies or something. It was just 2 better. plus for regen. It was just uh, literally 2 plus for regen. Which was insane. I, yeah, 2 plus is insane. I, I wouldn't mind if it went back to being like a 2 plus for mummies and like a. But say, like, it went to like a 4 or 5 plus for zombies or something to make it less. Yeah, you could make it like Loner, right? How Loner's like yeah. 3 plus or 4 plus or whatever, or 5 plus and then 2 plus, so you could make it yeah. like regen 4 plus for most things, and then, yeah, regen 5 plus for. Like, even Ghouls could have like a regen 6 plus, right? And things like that. Yeah. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think it actually would be a nice change to Undead and make them a bit more interesting and interactive. Mm. And also just make Mummies and Tomb Guardians better at higher team values. Yeah. If you did less fragile. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Fleshies. Yeah. Fleshies and toomies and mummies. Vampires as well, actually. Make vampires much better than oh. two plus region on vamps. Oh, oh. boy. Imagine how <laughs> knowing that shit would be to get off the field. <laughs> oh god. Two plus region and an apo. Like, oh okay, great, great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing just never leaves. <laughs> I mean, you just wouldn't apple them ever, then, would you? If it was two, if you had two plus regen, you could give them three plus regens. Maybe it's more realistic. 
You probably out them on a dead or something still, just to give yourself another shot at it, but yeah. Yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, exclusively. But you wouldn't have to, you would, you'd stop maybe, and maybe or badly hurt, but yeah, all the stuff in between you wouldn't nap on anymore. So it would be good so often. At that, honestly, on a 2 plus region, at that point, you're probably only appling thralls. <laughs> like, literally. <Yeah. laughs> a KO, a KO, obviously, but. Mm. That's the big advantage of the app, though, obviously, over region is you can bring back your KOs. Mm. The most important thing, anyway, I think. Yep. There you go, gets his claw mighty hit by mighty. Can Not... he fell it? I think he was going to try with dodging that guy away. He... Could have fouled the mighty blow beast mode, which I think maybe was good. I don't know, you have to give up an assist, I guess. Give you drink four hit easily. Mm. But I do think Kimmer needed to be trying to get some more fouls if they could, or taking the hits, the free armor rolls that they could there. Yeah. You could have like an ogre manhunter that doesn't have bonehead. Yeah. Things like that they could have done. There is something they could have done with ogres, but I don't know how to... Ogres are very, very hard to make good. And they're actually probably a team you don't want to be, like, actually proper, like, top tier. Because mm. the way they play is not very fun for anybody. Mm. Goblins are similar, honestly. You don't really want goblins to be top tier. Or a team that plays like goblins to be top tier with all the secret weapons and stuff. <laughs> so... <laughs> They could also add in a star play with Mighty Blow plus two, yep. Yep, they could. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're kind of a tyrant, but you, you could have a Manhunter. Are they Manhunters? Is that what they're called? I don't know. Maneaters? Maneaters, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's something like that, isn't it? The Chef and all those, all that other nonsense they have. So again, as someone who says you shouldn't foul on turn eight, Kimri should be looking to foul on what is effectively a turn eight here because they need to get of some sort of they need to get it back in the game with some dice. Uh, and, and, and they've they got their reserves, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point, Big Sud. They all eat man, yeah. 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 It's a good point. <laughs> it's a very good point. <laughs> they should have called them vegan crab eaters. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been much better. <laughs> it's a start, but as we all know, all KOs come back. Mm. Sounds a great idea. Chicken! <laughs> Is there anybody in Blood Bowl 3 that can have Cindy Pie Whistle and uh, Bomber Dribble Smith? I mean, I'm going to be in the game, so it doesn't matter. No, but I, I just want to know if there's anyone that can have both. So who do you foul here, Jim? Which of the two? Oh wait, we are piling on. Oh my god. Oh my, is that the first piling on of the game? I think it might be, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's taken a while, hasn't it? Tomb Guardian passes. All right, okay, that works somehow. All the things. <laughs> that is a very low bowl. None of the things you care about are like going well. And you just make a bullshit Tomb Guardian pass. <laughs> it's 
Cindy is not halfling only. She's like old world alliance or whatever. Oh, because right. of the really dumb. Yeah, the keyworded well, star players. Yeah, not old world alliance. Old world, you know, whatever. Or like some old, yeah. something old world, not old world alliance. It's a team, isn't it? Ogres can Four get both bombers. Yeah. There you go. Hey. <laughs> Oval Classics and Badlands Brawl. Thanks, Jacob. There you go. Ogre's going to have both. Glorious. Right, well, advantage of the Kemrys here. Uh, is it advantage? Yeah, they still got 11 players. They're down a Toomey. Um, They're down a Guardian. Oh my god, the KO stayed out. Wow. Unbelievable. There's only nine, only nine Chaos. So, yep, yeah, this is a big favourite to the Kems. Old World Super League. No, it's all World Classic, isn't it? Because it's like... Uh, there's it's no like, such thing as a Super League anyway. No, is, isn't it like... Uh, isn't the Lizardman one? Isn't it like Lustrian Super League? I think that's yeah. Lustrian Super League. And I think it's all Old World Classic. Mm. Lustrian Super League. Look at, look at me knowing things from the one time I read the rules. <laughs> I mean, reading the rules is already kind of cheating. <laughs> it really is, yeah. Will, will we see a second pile on? No. <laughs> I know, oh. I guess you can't follow because that's your best player, but man, if that was like a skeleton punch and you'd follow that block every single time to tie up those players. Three <laughs> on one is so good. Yep. One of the times where I don't, eh, you don't always love having your best player on the LOS taking blocks like that. So you can't follow up and get that advantage. Correct. Also, is he carrying on the loner? Um, I mean, the mercenary. Carrying on a mercenary right now? Uh, yeah, he is. All right. <laughs> Not I mean, what I would have done. I, I guess you gotta protect see. yourself from the from wizard. Mm. Also, also, did you keep his leader off the field on his defensive drive? So he has an extra reroll for overtime? Maybe, yeah. I don't remember seeing it. Maybe. I actually kind of think leader should just apply for overtime, regardless of what was used in the second half. Mm. Seems in line with what the leadership skill should should do. Mm. It would not be great for making um, but leader also has a skill that needs to be better, so. It's not really high on the list of things that needs to get changed about passing skills. <laughs> Which should be basically something that would apply to the all the other ones. <laughs> all the rest are higher on the list. <laughs> Bracketing him. Not guard, so yeah. Oh, but he's got strength for him. That's not fine. Nothing. I mean, this is pretty shit, isn't it? This is the thing about Kemi. They just get stuck. Like, he spread his team all around and they just all get stuck on things, don't they? Because they're. Uh, they've got no agility. On. He does get a pile on remove. But the lack of agility is what kills them, isn't it? Not not mm -hmm. the picking up fails. As, you know, as much as no. people like to meme about the can't pick up the ball, it's not the picking up, it's the complete lack of dodging. I, I would like to take that 1D on the Chaos player too with the player. I think I want to take that 1D and push him onto the um, Tomb Guardian as well. Mm. Even though he's ball mining, because you can follow up. And yeah. it makes it easier to free up your um, Mighty Blow Strength 4 the next turn as well. I have no idea how that Strength 4 gets freed up now. I think he's just stuck here forever now. Well, the problem is, the problem is if you if you do that and uh, you Skull, he just instantly 2Ds your Strength 4, doesn't he? Yeah, so I mean, it's, 2D did anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, but, you know, like, it's... Yeah. 
it's, you can see why he didn't do it. Good thing it was his mercenary that didn't take that hit, but his wow. good player. Wow. <laughs> well, that's his that's his leader reroll gone. Um, and now the ball's based, and he's in all kinds and he of can't trouble. Reroll the one D he's going to have to take. And well, I guess he can make a two D with the Tomb Guardian after a GFI. You can uphill. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Continue. In a bit of a pickle. This doesn't blitz him off anyway. I guess you can just hit him again. Yeah, I would have thought about uphilling him so he could come in for the blitz. But yeah, you can just hit him again. But the problem is, then he's got a three plus to hit the ball, isn't he? Or no, he's just no, going to no, get an instant. Up. Yeah. Then you need to come over and provide the assist on this claw mighty, I guess. Uh, or but okay, you want to? That's so greedy. That's so greedy. <laughs> you want to be on the other side. You you can't do that. You don't have rerolls. You need to just take the hit, take the two D. Yeah. Doing that GFI to get on the but left then he, side. But then, he has, but then he puts guard on him though, and without that, he just instantly two Ds the ball, doesn't he? That's the problem. Like without putting him on that side, he just instantly two Ds the ball, which is what he's going to do. Casas him. God, this mighty blow, this mighty blow, block mighty blow. Beastman has been. <laughs> The, the MVP, hasn't he? What a bad ass. Claw overrated, piling on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, GG. Kemri totally favored until they had to play offense. Yep, yep. Uh, this was a typical Kemri offense, really. Absolutely shit on. This is 9 Chaos, but then the 9 Chaos made some removals. Yep, um, 9 Chaos removed a Tomb Guardian and two players in three turns. So, you know. Yep. That's, that's it. I'm gonna blitz to get the to get the guard in. I won't say it's over. But, Just you know, the assist in. It's it's pretty hard to stop the score now. Don't say it's over. Yeah. Also, yeah. he's down rerolls now, so he doesn't even have kicks equity to try and force here. Equity. Are you just dodge with his strength four guy? Hey. Oh, diced. I don't think it'll get to kicks though. Seems unlikely. So, the Beastmen do feel a bit worse at actually getting this ball now than they did oddly a couple turns ago. Mm. Uh, Kimberly are in a bit better position to, to kind of push stuff around again. Yep. Two Guardians are by the ball and stuff, and such things are, you know. But here yeah. is. They keep getting the matter. Here is the actual, the actual ball carrier though, look away. Well, hey. yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Actual ball carrier. <laughs> Double ones! <laughs> Fail spectacularly. Amazing. Kek, what he is back at even? Maybe it will not be kicks. Oh. Or not. Oh! oh. <laughs> 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 Just when you think you're in, it pulls you right back out. Mmm. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Random pointless blocks for protection. <laughs> How does he stop the Tomb Guardian dodged at the ball? This is pretty good. Because that's the play, right? It's the Tomb Guardian 5 plus. Yep. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Easy as you like. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it is going to be kicks. Oh, just. Oh, man. If he had picked it up, it would have been perfect. But... <laughs> well, he re rolls I... it! 
In for a penny, in for a pound? That reroll seemed terrible. Unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's terrible. Oh, man. Like, I think there's a good chance Vava doesn't score here, and then you're only down two to one. But going mm -hmm. down to, it's big difference going two to zero. Yeah. Even one zero is actually a, a pretty big, pretty big swing. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a mistake there from uh, Rata Campera. I can Definitely. kind of understand in the sense that you, if you pick up that ball, there's a chance you can just like do some one Ds and run away. But it's so hard to not give up two dice blocks to be in the open field like that. Yeah, it's so so thing. hard. Yeah, once it's like seven aside, it's it's pretty pretty yeah. fucked against Beastman. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, maybe meeple fish, maybe. Well, it's just a GA5 for Varvar, isn't it, to score now? I mean, no one's ever rolled a 136 on a GA5, especially not in this game, so... <laughs> never. Safe. It's never happened. Irrelevant block first, always a good idea. I just handing off instead. Why try a two plus when you can try a three plus? Brilliant double two justice. I hope it, that's the reroll gone. Oh my god! Imagine if imagine if uh, Rata Campera said a reroll. Imagine going for the three plus instead of the two plus. Jesus Christ! That's fucking greedy. It leveled him. But it's fucking greedy, isn't it? With the game in the balance. That's like that's a Rick that's a Rick handoff that is. <laughs> if ever I've seen one, that's a Rick handoff. Yep. Pointless blocks first, why not? I guess he's still pretty high odds with a pickup and the GFIs, isn't he? But Just, still. It's very on theme. Very on brand for this game. Yeah. To pointlessly risk a loss. <laughs> yeah. What, I guess, what, do you reroll the handoff here? I just GFI in. <laughs> well, now... It's fine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, Macho Crispy, it's it's been something, hasn't it? That was that was that was a match. I mean fair play to Varvar, he's certainly living up to the, to his team name. <laughs> and uh, commiserations to Rato Campera, congratulations to Varvar. Thank you very much, Squirrel Dude, glorious. No problem, Jim. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.